Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, another MCX news video today and you know this is a lot of little breadcrumbs, little tidbits scattered across the community and we're going to start with the Mega Constructs official Instagram account. They have just shared some very exciting news and I quote, We've got an update on your MCX Halo fan vote winner. This sketch provided by our design team highlights the three new molds we've created specifically for the new Spartan haunted micro action figure. We've been anticipating this for a while and here it is the brand new Halo Heroes Series 16. That's right, 16. We haven't even got 15 yet, but here is a member of Halo Heroes Series 16, the Halo Reach Spartan Haunted Helmet. And this looks pretty ghostly. It really makes me wish that Mega shared more of these design sketches with the community. So, for the uninitiated, you may be wondering what's going on. Here are the five figures from Halo Hero Series 15, and these haven't even released yet. So what are we doing seeing a figure from Series 16? Let me get you up to date with exactly what's going on here. A little while ago, the YouTube channel Halo Podcast Evolved teamed up with Mega Brands themselves to have a fan vote to decide a figure that would be included in Halo Hero Series 16. And this debate got heated, let me tell you, because the figure choice was awesome. A Halo Flood Combat form, CQB, Spartan Haunted Helmet, and Thrall Slayer from Halo Wars 1. So the community really battled it out for a long time to decide which one they wanted and eventually the Haunted Helmet reigned supreme. But it was a pretty close vote at times. I was Team Thrall Slayer, but I was still pretty happy with Haunted Helmet winning. I kind of thought, you know, it's a shame because this will just be one helmet. But as Mega have now demonstrated, it's quite a lot more than that. And actually now I'm thinking, let's bring it on. I'm ready for this haunted helmet. The haunted helm from Halo Reach was a mythic helmet only achievable by, wow, I mean 20 million career CR and owning every base helmet in the armory. So this was not a small task and I don't know many people that got this personally. It was modeled off the pilot helmet from Halo Reach. One of my favorites, like a really nice one. The whole body of the pilot is really badass and I love the idea that some Spartans are just so incredible at driving that they're given that as their exclusive task. So here is the pilot helmet from Halo Reach and I'll read that again because we've got a few more bits to sort of hone in on here. Mega have now confirmed that not only do we have a new head sculpt with integrated skull, a new helmet visor but also new Breacher armor which is something that I'm personally very excited about. Here's the helmet, and side by side, you can tell the similarity, but what's also personally exciting for me is this Breacher chest. It is one of my favorites from Reach, and you got it at Lieutenant Colonel level with 8,000 credits. Kick it in, section it off, lay them out. A really nice chest, and something that I've seen on Halo Reach sort of armors and cosplays for many years, so to hear that Mega's making this is very exciting. They could have just made the helmet, but no, they went all out and they got the chest as well and boy does it look good. I would hope for a removable knife but it is unlikely. Here it is, the haunted helm. I, I'm very excited about this now. When this first won I was way more team Thrall Slayer but now I've seen the concept art. I, again I just really wish they would share concept art more often and I do want to share this one with you guys, an epic haunted custom that was made by a member of the MCX community. Mix Bricks minifigs made an absolutely gorgeous haunted helmet here, well done. And that's not the only news for today. You remember the Gun Goose Gambit? Well, we finally know what the alt build for this set is. Now we've got more HD images. Look at that thing. It's a really badass turret. And I'm happy about that because you know me, I'm always saying we need more diorama pieces, more things for our displays and our bases. And this turret does all of that. I love how they've used the Gun Goose turret attachment as the actual turret. It makes perfect sense and oh boy. There he is, 
Craig the Brute with his red armor looking absolutely sick and this Jackal, I am so excited for the Jackal Sniper. Some more HD images here. The Gun Goose Gambit will be dropping very, very soon, at least by the end of this year, I imagine. And I have a lot of people commenting on my videos asking when sets are releasing. In these news videos, I'm gonna try and share more. It looks like John on Twitter has got his Razorback already and the same set is up for pre-order in the UK, which is pretty great news. Target fans can expect to find the Covenant Needler in stock now, so get to your targets and pick that up ASAP. We also have Series 2 of Funko Pops Halo Infinite Edition, and that grunt is gorgeous. That Eshrium looks amazing, and there is a Blue Spartan. You can check out all of those on my separate video. Check my timeline for that. And this was another video with the domain, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and let me know how hyped are you for the Haunted Helmet and the Gun Goose Gambit. I'm just so ready for that Gun Goose particularly. And after seeing that image, I now have way more hype for the Haunted Helmet as well. Bring on Halo Hero Series 16 or maybe 15 first. We gotta find that first, guys. And as always, stick with the domain for all your Halo toy news.